Hey guys, uh, this is Romy with yet another video. I believe that I've uh, set my own record. I actually had planner fail within, I'm going to say, two or three days of um, broadcasting on YouTube about my finalized setup for 2013. So I'm sorry to disappoint, but um, you know this is this is a work in progress. I um, I even lost sleep over this, you guys. Last night, I, I couldn't fall asleep because I was thinking about this. I mean, does that make me a planner? I mean, I don't know. Anyways, um, in my two previous videos, um, I mentioned how I was going to use my Red Compact Chameleon for my planning and monthly and weekly, weekly planning needs and then use an ARC notebook for um, goal tracking and goal planning. Um... But ultimately, uh, that's not going to work out. So, here's the thing. Um, I've put aside my beloved Red Compact Chameleon. And I'm going to focus on the ARC system. Um, so, here she is. <laughs> um, I'm not going to use the red leather one that I have. Uh, basically, it's a little bit bulky and a little bit heavy. Um, I don't want to add any weight to my bag. Um, this is the ARC notebooks that are a little cheaper. Uh, it's a hard plastic cover. I love this design. This is actually the first one that I purchased. And I'm using 3 4 inch rings, which is quite small. Um, it's actually quite, I think, comparable to the ones I had in the Chameleon, so, you know, it's fine. Um, but the nice thing about this is, if I needed to go up in size, I can change these rings, because I have the one-inch ones, and, um, there lies the magic of the ARC system. Anywho, um, this notebook does not have any type of pockets or pen holders in it. That's fine, I can deal with it. I have this nice little bag where I can keep my pens and sticky notes and things. Oh, here's a tip. If you want to carry your post-its and stuff in a pencil case, but you don't want them to get all dingy and stuff, hey, just stick them in a Ziploc bag and then everything remains pretty. I figured that out this morning. Anywho, um, here's the thing. Uh, I don't have a lot of stuff in here. Just five tabs and they're pretty self-explanatory. I'll still go through them um, because well, this is like, I don't know, like porn, and um, we love watching setups. Anywho, uh, I have monthly, weekly notes, lists, this year, and resources. So in my monthlies, um, I have a advanced planning form uh, from Homemakers Daily, um, which I still need to fill out. Uh, basically, this is my reference sheet for any type of recurrent bills or, um, you know, when I have to buy my dog's medicine, heartworm and tick medicine and, you know, license renewals, license plate renewals, all that stuff. It's going to go in here. I always can put it in the actual monthlies, but I'll show you in just a minute. A minute. And, um, but it's a reference sheet, so I can keep everything in there. Um, I got all these paint chips. Um, should I say I stole? I don't know if I should say I stole. Um, I... I took them from Lowe's, um, and then I just uh, hole-punched it, and I put my sticky notes in there. It works great. Uh, monthlies, monthlies, I'm sorry. Let's keep, let's keep this um, going. Uh, these I have through December. I printed them from uh, lifeyourway.net. She has a lot of half-sized... Uh, printables uh, for home management notebooks, so that's awesome. Um, in case you're wondering, this is a junior size notebook, so this is comparable to A5 paper. I believe it's a little narrower, but um, it works. So, in my monthlies, uh, birthdays, bills, special dates, um, sort of that nature will go in here. And then um, my very simple budget tracking uh, system is um, these task pads, one side per pay period, and um, as things get paid, they'll be checked off, and I can keep track of how much we spent on other things like groceries and paper and pens, you know, the essentials. And then that makes it 
easy. Now, I'm also going to be tracking my goals on this. Um, I'm sorry if I keep panning in and out, guys. I, I'm, I'm trying to get the best light. This, this is difficult. Um, I'll use stickers to track how often I do the things that I had planned to do in that month based on my goals. Weeklies. Uh, these are also from lifeyourway.net. Uh, these squares are about two by two, enough space for me to write out my work schedule and then make a couple lists of to-dos per day. Um, I will be using these task pads once again to kind of do all my um, to-do lists for the week and then just transfer things and I can also add another one in for shopping or anything else. That's the magic of these task pads. They don't occupy a lot of space but they're quite handy. Notes and lists. Uh, any type of notes I take from books, magazines, videos I watch, articles I read can go in here. Any notes to myself can go in here, um, as well as any lists that I want to keep about wish lists, books, music, um, anything. Anything and everything will just go in here. Um, ultimately, uh, you know, I might sub tab this section. But um, if I have too many flags and things sticking out everywhere, it, it, it's a little confusing. So um, I can just um, keep things on these little pads or make out a title at the top so I, I keep track of what it is that I'm writing about. No problem. This year, uh, all my goal planning and goal tracking or goal focused notes are going to go in this. Um, Basically, uh, I think the reason my other two systems did not work for me is because I want to have my goal notes with me at all times. So I can look them over and read them and keep focused and add to them and work on them. Um, even if I only have 15, 20 minutes, an hour at, at work because I'm on lunch or a break or I'm sitting in the car in traffic or whatever. I want to be able to um, have them with me and look at them so they're always front and center in my head and I don't um, go off the wayside and fail. And then uh, resources. Um, I took out what I had back here. Um, I might put the uh, Ray's journaling school document in back again though. I just took it out for now. Uh, telephone numbers are going to go in here. Um, passwords for work. Um, that kind of stuff. You know. Then I have a pocket. I have a cut up punched envelope that has my coupons and stickers. I might get something nicer for this, but for now it works fine. And then post it notes, because what's a planner without them? So that's it guys. Um I I really like the setup. It's very streamlined. Um, it really does have everything I need right now. Paper size is perfect. Paper quality is awesome. And I can use any pen I want. I can use these flare tips that bleed all over Filofax paper and stuff. So that's great. Um, I came to the conclusion that uh, even though I love my Filofax binders and I, I think it's a great system, um, I might be more in love with the idea of Filofax than the actual functionality. And as Lori has um, mentioned in a lot of her videos, um, if something's not working for you, you should change it um, and not try to force yourself to make it work because then um, you're going to get yourself into a plan or fail. I don't know if that's exactly how she said it, but that's how I understood it, so you know what I mean. Um, so I just think it's funny that I've been um, filming this and um, I've gotten so many tweet, tweeter, Twitter, Twitter notifications um, about people asking like, what's going on? What are you changing? Where's the video? So uh, to all of you, here it goes. Check it out. Um, and, you know, keep on planning, you guys. This is not the end of it. We will make this work. Um, and if not, we'll change it. So thanks for watching. And um, I don't know. Good luck with all your setup, guys. Uh, you know, it's, it's a work in progress. But we are strong people. We, we can do this. 
So uh, have a great rest of the weekend and thanks for watching. Bye.